Hello. So today we are looking at the experiment which is known as cross ventilation based on window sizes. Here I have all the equipments that I will require to perform this experiment. Firstly, I have the whole tunnel assembly with me. This is the tunnel roof. This is the tunnel base. Sorry, this is the tunnel backside. This is the tunnel base. This is the tunnel front. And these are the side walls of the tunnel. Here I have taken two, uh, win of two walls with windows of different sizes. One is a small window and one is a big window to, to compare the different results of, uh, of wind flows based on uh, win different window sizes. I also have the clips that I will require to perform to, to assemble the tunnel here. Additionally, I have two other equipments. One is the, the table fan that I will be requiring to simulate the wind flow and the other one is the anemometer which I will be requiring to measure the wind speed. This experiment will, uh, the objective of this experiment uh, is that students to imagine or students to understand the application of Venturi effect on how different window sizes impact the cross ventilation patterns inside a room or a structure. And this will, this will help them imagine how they can integrate uh, different window sizes to enable cross ventilation in a more effective manner. Now we will look at the procedure of this experiment. To start off, first we will take the fan and align it like this. Now the next thing, uh, next important thing uh, that we have to make sure is that we have to give this tunnel an elevation such that it is in line with the fan. So currently it is down the fan, the axis of the fan is uh, above it. So we'll have to give it some elevation so that it is uh, in line with the fan. For that, we can use anything. We might have books, etc. available to us um, and we can give it, uh, give it an elevation. Currently, what I'm using is parts from the kit itself. The boxes, as you know, I'm using it to give the tunnel an elevation. And I'm using this board on which I'll place the, the tunnel assembly. This is in line with the fan. Once this is done, the important thing is to first note down the readings such that the uh, larger window, the window which is um, as you can see here, this is the larger window and this is the smaller window. So first what we will do is we will place the larger window on the windward side and we'll take the reading. So I'll just start off the fan here and place it here. The next thing what I'll do is I'll use this anemometer and I'll place it here. I have to make sure that my anemometer is somewhere in between uh, or, or at the center of this tunnel, vertically at the center of this tunnel.
currently I am getting a reading of uh, 1.4 meter per second. This is my reading for larger window on the windward side. I'll just switch on the fan for a moment. I'll flip this tunnel so that my smaller window is on the windward side. And once I've placed it correctly, I'll switch on the fan again. And I'll take the reading again. Here the, the wind speed is around 6.8 meter per second. So as you can see, once we, uh, once we place a smaller window on the windward side, we witness that the flow of wind increases through that section. This is a practical implication of Venturi effect phenomenon, where if we have a reduction in the in the path of the wind suddenly the velocity of the end increase wind increases and we uh, witness a bigger draft of the wind this can be this concept can be implemented in designing of the houses where we can first note down the wind flow through uh, the windrows diagram of that city uh, we can just uh, understand the wind flow patterns of the site and accordingly we can place smaller windows towards the windward side, which will give us a better cross ventilation uh, effect. This, uh, this experiment here, uh, let's students imagine that concept. Thank you.